How's it going everybody, Noble Warrior 99 here, and today I am back with another Destiny video. Now in this Destiny video guys, I will be going over the stats and mods of the Jewel of Osiris, and I will be giving my opinion on the weapon before it actually comes out. Now for anybody that does not know already, this weapon will be coming in the Trials of Osiris, which is currently unannounced, but this data has been leaked, and I do have the image on screen here that was provided by the Reddit user named StealthLOL. So you guys can go check out that post in the description down below. Now as you guys see in this image of the Jewel of Osiris, it is a yellow hand cannon that has a very nice gold tint to it. And also as you guys see in the top right hand corner, it says that the Jewel of Osiris is a prestigious trophy earned in battle during the Trials of Osiris. Now this weapon has a rate of fire of 32, it has a relatively high impact of 68 out of 100, the range is lacking and the magazine is relatively small, but it also does have a decent stability and it does have a reload speed of 53, which is about half and then with the additional perks that I will go over in a second, it does have an increased reload speed as well. Now for the sights that this weapon has, it has Steady Hand IS, it has the Quick Draw Sight, and the Sure Shot IS Sight. Now for the special upgrades, this weapon has Final Round, which allows your weapon to increase its damage for the last round of the magazine by 33%, so this weapon will be an absolute beast in PvP in my opinion. Now for the second special upgrade, this weapon also does have Luck in the Chamber, so this means that this weapon will randomly grant one round in the magazine to deal 33% more damage as well. So if you just happen to get luck in the chamber to be on the final round of the magazine, then this weapon will be an absolute monster in PvP because of the increased damages. Now for the optional upgrades that this weapon has, it has Snapshot, so that's kind of like Quick Draw from Call of Duty, if you guys know what that is. This weapon also has Flared Magwell, which increases the reload by 100%, but decreases the stability by 10. So Flare Bagel is definitely a perk that you will want to have in PvP as well as PvE just because you can kill enemies a lot quicker. Now lastly, this weapon also has Hammer Forge which increases the range and decreases the reload, but I definitely would stick with the Flare and Magwell perk because of that increased reload speed because I definitely do think that this weapon will help you out a lot in PvP. Now the only downside to this weapon from what I can see so far is the very small magazine. Now this weapon only has 5 bullets in the magazine, so that is pretty disappointing to see. I hope that it gets buffed up to at least 8 or 10, although that still is not that much. Although the 5 bullets in the magazine definitely is a downer to this weapon. But let me know what you guys think about this weapon in the comment section down below. I will be trying to cover all of the weapons individually on my channel in the next week or two. So hopefully you guys will stick around for that and definitely make sure to subscribe. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button down below because it does support the channel. And lastly, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. This is Noble Warrior 99 and I'm out. Peace.